What is good, homies? This is the Small Hat Crew. I am Chris, joined today by Nick and Small Hat Brandon. Um, boys, do we just go ahead and jump right into uh? Because I want to talk about this NL. I I really do. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't do know it. what cards we're gonna look at for this video, but I do know we're looking at this one. So we'll just go ahead and start there. NL. Yellow character, seven cost, seven thousand power, special, Sky Island, no counter, rush. Once per turn, if this character were to be removed from the field, you may trash the top card of your life instead. If character Monkey D Luffy is on the field, this effect may not be activated. That is so fucking adorable. I love that. <laughs> I really do. It's it's also funny thinking about it because every color has access to Luffy. Yeah. <laughs> um. I it's good uh at, yeah, first, no, I didn't, at first i didn't see the rush and i'm like bad card and then the rush kind of makes it a lot better um because yellow does have a rush already but it's a very unreliable rush this is yeah this card's gonna rush every single time you play it yeah, i think the monkey d luffy thing is gonna have that buggy effect where for the for the first like month of playing with it you're not gonna realize until it happens, where buggy it can't be KO'd by Slash characters, and you kind of just swing into it with Slash. No, 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 no. I think I think this is one that everybody will be far more aware of because because that buggy shit seven sneaks seven. up on you. It really does. That. Well, will this? No. No one's gonna really think about the Luffy being on field. But the minute the Luffy hits the field, you know it's up. You're like, oh fuck, they actually play it. <laughs> Um, also, I, I, I'm not I like gonna lie, I think trashing a life to save this guy is a heavy cost. Like, I, I know don't it's yellow. know, because... I don't think it's good in any yellow deck except Enel, because yeah. Enel being able you trash to it, get take it back. your last life to get your last life back, yeah. that's really powerful. Yeah, because if everything's going as intended, you're pretty much playing majority of the game on one life, and every time this would die, you just use this guy's ability take your last life you save this guy and then your leader ability triggers and then you heal the life back up anyway and now your opponent still has to connect with you two more times um also before they can... uh yeah. no leader ability is opponent's turn only yeah well, yeah but if they're killing this guy then it's their it's their turn i was thinking about if you had to save him on your own turn somehow but that doesn't make sense and kind of okay <laughs> No, um, um I, I don't think that it's amazing in any way, but I do think that it's because of the nature of Enel's ability, the leader. Uh, I think this is a 7k, 7 drop rush that sticks on board and you don't really ever lose. Yeah, no, I actually, I like this card. Um, I am, I'm going to say I actually do like the card. I do think it's good. It's because, so he comes, he's a rusher. That is the magic number by default. So when he swings, he's taking at minimum two cards out the opponent's hand, or he's just taking the life. It's one or the other. Unless there's like a blocker, but then why are you? You're probably not going to play into that. Um, and then like you were saying, he's sticky, but not only is he sticky, it's like he he is the only card in the game that does not die to Red Rock. It's if he leaves the field. It's not KO'd. If he would be removed from the field. He's not the only card that can't be killed by Red Rock. What else is there? <laughs> There's the stupid green Nekomamushi that says if all of your cards are tapped, you can't be removed from field either. I didn't even realize this card had removed from field. That yeah. makes it even better. This card is good. This is a good card. I think this is a good card. Uh, Might be thinking of Inarashi, but I can't remember the name of the dog or a cat. Yeah, because because you have to think like seven, just being seven is just good. Like it's, think about how many times like an ace is on the board and the ace just sticks. He's big enough that he's easy to protect. If he would be answered, you just pay the life, and it's free um, with that leader. Um, and then... But then you're protecting that last life for the rest of the, that turn, because if that life gets taken, then you can't heal again. Yeah, but I don't... I think... I think realistically, if you're letting... If you're protecting this guy, then you can protect that life. Because if you can't protect that last life, there's no way you keep this guy on the board. You just let him go. Um... We talk about how shredded NL is, by the way. Damn. Yeah, yeah he's ridden. a god. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> I think this, I like this card a lot. Yeah. I really do. I think, I think a seven K being sticky is, is. I I don't know. I think that's really really good. I think if there was a number to be sticky, it would be a seven K. Um, not to mention rush, and it has rush. It has rush. It's seven K. It's sticky. It triggers your leader ability. You gotta stop saying sticky. It's sticky. It's, it's, sticky. it's, it's, it's gushy. 
stop it. Oh, um, um, he does trash. He does trash the card. Now that, um, that I is true. That, I wish that it was so like worse. draw your last life instead. Um, yeah. What I will say with it is. It doesn't have counter, but I think it's okay because yeah. we are losing the four ten drop big moms uh, that we can't play in this. So it kind of I don't think that this will be a four of to be honest. No, I think won't. I'd probably run three of them, maybe even two, because yeah. um, it is a strong card. But like Nick said, I mean you're you're playing with realistically your last life, right? So sometimes it, it's I mean at that point I feel like they're gonna go life anyways, and not at your seven k. And if they waste six dawn to try and bottom deck this, yeah, I'll discard a card to do my whole life thing. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I def I I do like the card, I but I don't fan. think that it's like insane. Yeah. No. But it's good. Yeah. No, I agree. I think this card is like a three point seven five. I like this card a lot. Yeah. I was actually thinking about it as well. Uh, yeah, three and a half is solid. Um, yeah. But also in ML, you can play the nine drop Yamato to heal back from zero, so that yeah. way your opponent yep. has to get through two life again. Oh yeah, yeah. For the nine drop Yamato. Unless we see some insane cards uh, for the Sky Pia or Sky Island uh, type, think, nine drop yeah. Yamato is going to be a four of. Oh, one hundred. No, easy, uh, easy. Not even a question. And also, yeah. it's like the, the main takeaway we we're like talking about is like playing on that last life. But he's a seven drop. Realistically, there will be points in the game where you drop him and you're still at like two or three life. Yep. Like. It's only once you're at the point where you're juggling your last life that all of that is even relevant. Because up until that point, you just happily take that life and just keep this guy alive. Yeah. But dropping him on dropping him on curve is gonna feel so fucking good. This guy is oh my god, this card's so good. Um But yeah. Definitely like this card. I love it. This card's so good. Mm, <laughs> and also good. Bloom. <laughs> I don't uh, like what just happened. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll move on to our next yellow card. Uh, let's talk about this Zoro. Roro Noah Zolo. Yellow character, cost 4, 5,000 power, Wano, Straw Hat Crew, 1,000 counter. Trigger, KO up to one of your opponent's cost 4 or lower characters. I hate the art like so it. much. What'd you say, Brandon? I don't like it. Um, I do like yeah, that I'd... it is... I wish that was an on-play ability. That'd be gross. No. Yeah, that's. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> oh my god, cool. I didn't let me realize. Let me play my what? four drop 5k that kills your four drop. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, make it a three drop or less, but make it a trigger. Oh, make the Zoro three, you mean? Play this card. You mean make the Zoro oh, three? Make, yeah, obviously. No, make it a KO three drop, but. To me, I don't like it because it's a worse. Uh, What's it called? Thunderbolt. You're never going to play this card. Yellow already has so many 4-drop... Yellow has so many 5Ks that are just so much better than they this. They do. They do. Um, and the triggers are play this card, so I'd rather play a card. I do like that this card is a character with the trigger of an event. I do yeah, think that's I interesting. Wish that it was like, I remember. It's cost for lower characters and then play this card. No, that'd be fucking stupid. <laughs> Let me play the card. Also, yellow does have a Luffy, by the way, so you could run the Luffy and Anel in the same deck and mitigate your own Anel's effect. Just want to point that out. Yeah. I also want to point out, when this card was revealed, they hit the counter and the trigger, and I remember people saying that this card might be at 3,000 counter. I remember being like, what the fuck do you mean? Yeah, no, they... Mm. Yeah, because you have to think. Up till this point... The only way to get 3,000 counter was either on a, count, a zero cost counter event that took a card out your hand, you had to discard for it, or you had to pay one Dawn for it. So we have already established that 3,000 counter is the equivalent of either a one Dawn or a discard. To just fucking throw that on a body that you just discard, be insane. That'd be, be so crazy. That I think that would genuinely probably be one of the strongest cards in this game. It's, it's just a free it's dark also wild that red is the only one that has a one cost 3k counter event most other decks is a one cost 2k no yellow has one now and granted it does have a stipulation you have to be at like that two or less life, life. Yeah. Yeah. which in an l pretty good it's funny though because if we look at that stipulation though we go right back to red 
radical beam. No stipulation. Radical beam. Yeah. yeah. Well, radical True or less beam. life, it's radical beam. <laughs> so then yeah. even even there, you see a little bit of that red privilege. Um, <laughs> I don't know. This card is this card's. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this card at all. Um, I don't. It, it's a I promo. I don't like card, anything about it. Honestly, promos usually yeah. aren't good. Yeah, promos are usually there for the art, which I don't even like on this card. <laughs> art is ass. <laughs> he, promo like, um, it, was necessary. It, it's like a mix. Like it wants to be a, a chibi. It, it wants to be a chibi, but it's also not at the same time. And I don't like it. I don't like it Everything at all. Everything about this card fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, not the best at yeah, all. Yeah, this card's like a one point five. Yeah. Yeah, I just had a one. A one, valid. Okay, we'll move on to another yellow card. We have... Oh, Alright, Katori. Yellow character, three cost, 3,000 power, special, Sky Island. On play, if you have Hotori, Hotori, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost equal to or less than the number of your opponent's life cards. Oh, this sucks. What the fuck? This is terrible. We don't know what, we don't know what Hotori does yet, so... It I, could I, be I, I'm I thinking it's going to be the Moji Kabaji thing again. I really do. <laughs> so I will say... Um, historically, cards that needed another card of an exact, like, name on the yep. field haven't yep. been that good in One Piece. Well, one technically Well, one got two. fucking banned. Um, <laughs> yeah, right? But that's just because it just goes against what they want. But what There's I only been two say, examples and one got fucking banned. What I will say, though, depending on how Hotori is, I mean, it, it's a destruction effect. That's what Yellow kind of needs to play against, like, Red Green Law and Zoro, so it might actually have some playability. It's going uh, to heavily depend on who. No, 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 don't. It's no, not, stop. Like, no. That's unfair. Sorry, Don, what do you mean unfair? I'm giving a stance. What do you mean unfair? That's unfair. So I think Wait. the precedent that has been set up to this point is. Hold on, Hattori. Did I say it's gonna be good? No, I said it might have All some playability. All I'm saying is. The it, other it card, on based on everything we have seen in this game's history up to this point, the other card's going to be vanilla. Every time a card has been said required no. another one, yeah, because because no. every time we've had a card that said you need to control the other, what? No, uh, some of them are like uh, if this card, if the other card is in your hand, play that card, which this most likely like will be. I, I can't think of the name off the top it's of my head. Shut up! You're just uh, gaslighting me. No, it's the, no, the Nick, cat no, pirates. It's, thank you, Nick. <laughs> From, uh, Literally, from Syrup Village. I can't remember what their name uh, is. Uh, is it green cards? If it's green cards, and I'm not even. Yeah, it's green cards. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Then okay. there's the black cards. That's Django and the other dude. Oh, you're trying to tell me about East Blue? I, you could stop right there. I've heard enough. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'm not saying these cards are good. I'm just giving examples. No, no, of what I understand. He's trying to illustrate. It's Sham and Butchie, which do the exact this same thing. This card, I'm calling it now. Oh, wait, actually, no, they're Shachi and Penguin. They both have a fucks. <laughs> wow. It's literally... So the other one is going to have an effect that plays Katori. I promise you that. I don't think can... so. Yeah, I oh, will... Shachi will... and Penguin are also green. I will take myself off the channel if I'm wrong. And then... <laughs> so will it have some playability? I think it will. I think will it's going to it be... be... We'll see. I think it's going to be a vanilla. Um... I... It's not gonna be a vanilla. That would be so stupid. I think it's gonna be like the uh, like the impel down cards where there's like one. It's like a one drop three k, and then the other ones like if you control it, this card becomes blocker or something. I think it's gonna be that shit all over again. That's not even close to what this is, though. <laughs> well, I mean not it is because it's on play. If you control the other card, get effect. That's what the other card does too. And I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, even if the other card's not a vanilla, I just don't like cards that. Are, that are moving parts and then especially when the moving part has to be a specific card because you have to think too how many times have we seen shachi played without penguin like a specific a named card is such a heavy it's such as like a that's as strict as requirements get that's never good i was about to say especially since we don't have a confirmed style in search yet yeah um because because we the only time we've ever seen that uh offset the only time where it's been the risk has been worth the reward was when the other card was quite literally a pot of greed every single time you played it and then it got banned however this, however and then and then you have to think too it's like not only does this card pop something right not only is the effect of pop so there's an entire color dedicated to not being popped but also this card you don't even know for fact 
what he's going to be able to pop throughout the game because he's dependent on the opponent's life. This card fucking sucks. Oh my god, this card's ass. I think I'm going to give this card a 1. So, uh, again, <laughs> again, uh, I, I feel like you're, you're, you're saying, I feel like you're feeling like I'm saying this card's good. No, 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 no. In no way, shape, or form did I say this card is good. I said we might see some playability. No, no, see, that's because... where I disagree, though. That's, that's where you lose me. And, and, and that's fine. I'm going to finish my sentence either way. Um, we might see some playability because yellow severely lacks KO effects, and it's going to depend on Hotori. Now, if Hotori summons this from hand, and Hotori is actually a decent body, yes, it's still going to be iffy because you need both in hand. And like I said, historically, it hasn't worked. However, or we did it worked see way too well. But, with like page one and uh ulti it oh, was okay that's another example with a vanilla look but, at that well no one of them wasn't a vanilla uh in well, fact both well, of them weren't vanillas it was two page ones you could play the vanilla or you could play the better one but what i'm saying is this gives us what we need against like law and zoro this which is, is not what we art. need hey i, I <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just stop there. <laughs> it, you're, you're like not letting me finish the thought and just like invalidating it. It's fine. No, no, no. You you can continue. No. I was just, just. Nope. It's it's completely fine. We'll, you know we'll what? Just have, you know we'll what? We're complete. better off for having not heard it in its entirety. That's this... completely fine. You're this... <laughs> fucking pain in my ass. <laughs> no. Um. What what would you give it, Brandon? On a scale of one to one. To I will not rate this card until I see Hotori. All right. Well. You know, because I got to do something for the graphic, the overlay, you know? Um, okay. Well, I'm giving this card a one. Cards unplayable. Put me at a five. I'm giving it a one. Yep, put me at a five. That's what I was going to do. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's. That's all the yellow cards. Let's go ahead and move on to uh, a good card. Toto, red character, cost one, power zero, Alabasta Kingdom, 2k counter, on play. If your leader has zero power or less, draw one card. Well, there it is, Brandon. Uh, this is exactly what this is exactly what Vivi needed. This is exactly what she needed, and now we will see her winning every single every single flagship, every single championship. It's right there. Control a one. Um, my brother, can I can play this. this. Be good. I could play this draw card with my leaders at zero for one of my minus five K events, and then overheat it back to my hand because she has blue. Well, remember, their searcher, their searcher is what puts her at zero. You guys are the one that said BB was gonna be good. I don't know why you guys are trolling. I'm not trolling. What do you mean? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's, it's a good 2K counter. Solid it 2K counter. Ah. It should be a two cost. I think it's a good 2K. Um, either no... either you're dropping it as a 2K, or you've searched. So your leader's at zero, and now you play as you draw a card. I don't know. Um, it's whatever. I give it. A Give it a. It's a two K. Give it a two. I'm gonna give it a three. I'm gonna give it a three point five. You think three point five? I was thinking three point five. I don't know. Um, it's I mean, searchable. It's it searchable. I'll say it is three point five. Either draw or one non, or give two K plus. It's searchable with Alabasta. I I think it's solid. Yeah, it's also another card. Two Ks for Alabasta. I think there's better red two Ks, but. Well, I think because well, this is a searchable 2k, and then this is also it only costs one, so this is another card that in Phoebe, for example, you could play this card. So you could play your searcher, draw a card, I mean, search a card, play this guy, draw a card, so he replaces himself in hand, and because he only cost one, then the Karu or the Duck Squad or whatever can then move that one tapped Dawn and attach it to your shit. I don't know. It's. It's, it's something. There's something there, I guess. Um, God, they're giving VV cards. I hope she gets there. I really do. Uh, but yeah. Um, we'll move on to Nefitari Cobra, black character, cost two, power one thousand, Alabasta Kingdom counter one thousand, blocker, and on play, trash the top card of your deck. I don't know why this is a black card. Uh, Alabasta has been red so far. It's really weird that Cobra just is suddenly a black card. Yeah, it's random. It's really random. Uh, like, I guess you could play it in Rebecca to trash a card to top your deck to fill 
like put stuff in your trash, but it's just yeah. it's not a good card. It's not like searchable. It. I think it's a two. One point five. Valid, Nick. Yeah, I just said two as well. Okay. Uh, so we'll move on to our next card, and it's another card that it's random, but it's black. Viola, black character, two cost, oh, no, three thousand power. Rosa. Dress Rosa. Oh, she is. I thought she was Don Quixote. Why is Viola she not Don a, Quixote? She has a Don because she switches sides. Because it's oh, this is after she's okay. So okay, gotcha. All right, one thousand counter on play. Your opponent chooses three cards in their trash, and they return them to the bottom of their deck in any order. I think this card sucks. It's terrible. It's a one. It's a zero point five. <laughs> this card fucking sucks. This is a zero. Brother, you don't understand. I'm gonna play this against Nami. I'm gonna put three cards back in their deck. Yeah, and then they're gonna that... then they're gonna put back the peel off and then draw the other two cards. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. This card fucking. The fact that she lets them choose is so bad. It's so bad. This card is so. Yeah. Bad. This card's a zero. It... I would have said a one. <laughs> Like, if, if there's ever a sideboard, you can play this against Rebecca. Yeah. Um. All right. So that's all the black cards. And oh, we are missing the four cost Rebecca. Oh, okay. One actually worth discussion. Rebecca, black Ooh. character, four cost, zero power. Dress Rosa, 1,000 counter. Blocker and on play. Return up to one black character other than Rebecca with a cost of three to seven from the trash to your hand. Then play one cost three or less black character from your hand to the field rested. So basically, you play her, you pick up a three to seven, and then you play a three or lower from hand. So she can it's potentially- It's wild that she doesn't have like a required typing from the trash, just that it's black. So we can recur any black navy card as well. Well, I think it's because it's she's this is black's parallel to Uta, and Uta just pick up a red. Yeah. Um I think it's okay. Yeah, no, it's okay. It, is, it gets better it, it is with time. It is like, kind of recursion, so you can get... Realistically, you're going to get your Luffy's back. Yeah. Or your Sob. Uh, I don't like that you play the three or less cost rested. I think yeah. that's I what's going to be off the card. Yeah. Sure, it plays the Kairos, and the Kairos protects itself. Yeah, but, like, if you have any card other than Kairos that you uh, play off of it, like, that's the only card that's decent to play off of it. Any other card, it's like... Eh. Also, because I feel like on top of that, something. yeah, because I also feel like on top of that though, it also re requires you to already have him in your hand, because there's no reality yeah. where she's picking it up on the discard. How the fuck did he die? True, but I mean, Rebecca leader searches and has a one drop searcher. There's no way you don't oh, have also, a card in hand that you though, want to play. Yeah, because also like with her search though, you could also like discard one to, to you could discard one and then play her to pick it up and play it. He's a blocker though, so I guess she's all right. There's something she's there. Like I think she gets better as there's better three cost to play because as it, as it is right now she just feels to me like a, a uta she's just like a card to grab a resource back from the discard she's a blocker there's that but also i feel like um like with uta i'd rather just have a 5k body than have a blocker because if my blocker is going to be zero I, it's miserable that's real bad um she just dies to vista she yeah, dies she replaces herself from the hand and puts another body on board to marco yeah the thing that she plays too, because it's like, okay, because what are her good targets? So there's, there's like a Leo, there's Rebecca, there's Kiros, um, Kobe, Kobe, I guess. And that's discarding two cards from hand. So I'm not even a fan of that really. And then, discarding two. what? How is that discarding two cards from hand? Kobe's effect. Kobe discards one. Yeah. Yeah. So you saw about getting rid of the Kobe out of your hand as well. So you're getting two cards yeah, out of hand. Yeah, you're putting a card in your hand with Rebecca. Oh, that's not even. No, no. I won't even. I won't even cap. That's not what it was. It was. I was thinking like in um like Isho for example, where you play Kobe, you pitch a card, pop something, and then you play Law, bounce it back to hand, play Kobe again, pitch another card, pop something. <laughs> yeah. I, was... I don't think you ever do that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's, that's what I was saying. That's why I said it's awful. bad because I was thinking about that, and that's fucking awful. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, actually, with, with that, Kobe's not terrible. You know, it's, I don't know if she would ever play Kobe, though. I don't yeah, think so, hard. but I was just throwing a name out yeah. there. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, I'd rate the card at, like, a three. I mean, the fact that it's a blocker, blockers are blockers. Yeah, but yeah, blockers have also gotten worse with time. 
No, but I mean, it also gets something from your trash that they killed that you want back. And red or black does have really good three to seven cost. Uh, you I was gonna say, you want more in archetype targets. There's the Solomon, which is a 3-drop 4k that on play gives something minus 2 cost during the turn, then Trash is a card from deck. Um, <laughs> right, go ahead. Um, I think the best play I can think of with her is like so it's adding a Sabo to hand, playing, the... playing a Kiros, and then playing Sabo from hand, and then he protects you know, your other Rebecca. Well, I was gonna say, or you, you play the 1-drop Rebecca from hand to occur more. Well, there's that too, but I don't know if that's worth four dawn, you know. Um, because that's what it is for me. I feel like for her costing four, she, whatever you do with her has to feel like it justifies the four. Because picking a card up from your discard is not, you know, that alone isn't four. With Uta, the trade off was you got a body on top of it. With her, it's like you get a blocker. That's why I think like picking up Sabo, for example, because if you pick up Sabo and then you play him, um, that's two blockers on the board, and they're both going to make it to the following turn. Whereas otherwise, she's probably dying to to Vista, to Marco. Um, and then with Bella Betty running around, she's dying to Akuma. Like, I don't know. I think, like, I don't I don't know if her, her block will, is enough to justify the four if she's not playing, if she's not playing like a decent body from hand. I think with time, she gets better. I think as time goes on, she gets better as that card pool gets bigger. But I think with what we currently have, I don't know if I'm ever happy spending four dawn to play her. Yeah, that's fair. Like you said, I think it'll get better with time. I think as she is right now, there's honestly nothing wrong with it. Uh, like it's a four cost blocker, grabs a card from trash. You don't even have to play another card to be honest, but doing it like a Kairos. Well, yeah, is you, just a good play. Yeah, because that's because that's, that's what I was saying. Like you don't have to, but like. I don't know if the four is justified if you're not playing something, you know, um, because because you're just recurring a body at that point, and I don't know if that mm -hmm. alone cost four, because her being a blocker is the equivalent of one dawn, so you still have the additional three that you have to offset to make her worth it, and that's like Akiros for example, because outside of outside of that, it's kind of it's kind of mid, um. I think I think as time goes on, I'd give her a higher rating. I think right now though, I'd give her like a two point five. I'd give her a three. All right. Well, I guess with that one being said, we'll go ahead and wrap that one up. Jump into the next, and uh, until next time, we'll see you guys later. It was just